Incredible animals that really existed but thankfully are extinct. The extinction of dinosaurs should, perhaps, be the most important event in history, for it was after their extinction that our ancestors got the chance to evolve. The story of comets hitting Earth and wiping them all out is now part and parcel of our science and is so incredible that it sounds like a myth. Nevertheless, we have to be grateful we did not meet the dinosaurs, and even more grateful that we did not encounter any of the incredible animals I will be telling you about today. From enormous hulk to razor-sharp teeth, these creatures possessed features that would make our predators of the present scamper for safety. Thank you for joining me and welcome to the channel. In this video, I will be talking about the most incredible animals that really existed but now are extinct. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell to avoid missing more amazing videos coming your way. Number 20. Giantopithecus blackie. In 1935, anthropologist Ralph von Kosenwald found two molar teeth at a drugstore that were being sold as dragon bones. The molars, he would later discover, were the remains of the largest ape to ever live. The Gigantopithecus blackie is the only member of the Gigantopithecus genus that lived in the early to middle Pleistocene period in southern China's tropical forests. Standing at 10 feet tall, it weighed 200 to 300 kilograms and could easily knock off predators like leopards and tigers. We would have been little pieces of work for their knuckles. It was originally thought to be a homonym, but is now classified as a close relative to orangutans. In 1955 and 1956, more remains, including a mandible and more dragon bones, were found. Gigantopithecus sparked interest in Yeti and Bigfoot sightings, which has continued to this day. Number 19. Deodon Shoshonesis Nicknamed Killer Hog, Dodeodon Shoshonesis was found in North America about 18 to 25 million years ago. It is the largest known member of the hog family, with adults reaching up to 5.8 feet in height. That is the height of a full-grown human adult. But for the kill, it had powerful jaws with razor-sharp teeth that could easily splinter bones. Its main prey were horses and camels, and given that both are now domesticated, encounters with humans would have been inevitable. Number 18. Armored Monster Fish Dunkleosis telverly was a marine monster that swam the oceans 400 million years ago. It was a gigantic fish covered in hard armor, weighed 4 tons, and grew as long as 29 feet. What made the Dunkleosis truly terrifying was its beak-like mouth lined with rows of self-sharpening teeth and could bite down with a force of 6,000 newtons. It was a bite so powerful it could bite its own armor, making scientists believe it was either cannibalistic or very territorial. It could open and close its mouth in a fifteenth of a second, faster than you can say Jack Robinson. Number 17. Aquatic Scorpion The name Pentacopterus decorahanesis is not just any name. Pentacopter is one of the first Greek warships built, and the 5 feet Pentacopterus looks built for battle. Geologists at the University of Iowa discovered the fossils in northeastern Iowa, which were collected in 2020 for analysis. Scientists estimate that the prehistoric predator swam in the waters around what is now Iowa 467 million years ago. Biters, lobsters, and ticks are descendants of Pentacopterus decoharanus, a far cry from one of the largest anthropod ever discovered. Number 16. Super Dragonfly Dragonflies remind us of our childhood, harmless creatures to be played with. They are herbivores and their wingspan measures just a couple of inches. But the same does not apply to their ancestors, the iconic Megaloropisus. The first Megaloropisus fossil was discovered in France in 1880. These huge insects resemble and are related to modern dragonflies but differ in size. They lived in the late Carboniferous, approximately 300 million years ago, and their wingspan measured between 65 and 70 centimeters. That is approximately the distance from your fingertips to your shoulder. Technically, griffinflies, not dragonflies, are speculations on how Magnaropisus were able to grow that large. It is possible that their size was an evolutionary adaption due to the high oxygen content in the atmosphere. Also, the lack of birds to prey on them could have contributed to their size. Number 15. A bear twice a human's height. 
12,500 to 800,000 years ago, the Arctodus simus walked the Earth, patrolling the whole of California with a daily craving for 35 pounds of meat. Its name translates as short-faced bear because of its short snout, and when standing on its hind legs, it reached up to 12 feet in height. Arctodus was 50% bigger than the biggest polar bears today and could easily hunt down a bison. Also known as a bulldog bear, it is one of the largest bears and among the largest mammalian predators that ever lived. Claw marks of five feet long have been found at River Bluff Cave, Missouri, leaving no doubt of the size of the bears that made them. Number 14. Tully Monster the Tully Monster would not have eaten us and might not be as scary as other animals on the list, but it is worth mentioning because it has got a monster in its name. The fossils of these foot-long creatures were discovered in the Maison Creek area and are thought to have lived in Illinois, which used to be a tropical sea. Tully Monsters have weird features, including eyes on stalks and proboscis. After months of research, scientists finally classified them as jawless fishes that are relatives of lampreys. Number 13. Mega Piranha For the lack of a better name, these forebearers to the deadly piranhas of today were named Mega Piranha, and for good reason too. The fossilized teeth of the fish, discovered in 1990, suggest that it was much larger than the piranhas of today. Reaching three feet long with two rows of teeth to match, Mega Piranha was, simply put, a terrorist of the rivers. An attack by these monsters would leave little to nothing behind. Luckily, they lived 10 million years ago, long before early humans came along. Number 12. 50-foot-long serpent When you find an animal that can prey on even crocodiles, you say your prayers. Titanoboa carahoninus was a colossal beast native to Colombia that lived 58 to 60 million years ago. Titanoboa is the largest snake on record. Fossilized remains were first excavated in 2005 from a Colombian coal mine. Since then, the remains of 30 individuals have been discovered, with scientists noting an average length of 42 feet. Growing to 50 feet, these serpents weighed 1,135 kilograms and had thick bodies that could wrap up a bus. In comparison, anacondas averaged 21.3 feet and the largest on record reaching 29.5 feet. It was a constrictor, like an anaconda, and would wait patiently underwater for prey. Once one was within reach, it would swiftly seize it and drag it underwater where it would drown. Number 11. Super Crocodiles That Prey on Dinosaurs Swimming the Cretaceous waters 110 million years ago was Saroxuchus imperator, a 10-ton crocodile with human-sized jaws. It was 39 feet long and had rows of backward-pointing teeth that gripped quite hard. Once prey was caught, it was nigh impossible to escape. The victim would be dragged into the water and drowned. Modern-day crocodiles are ferocious creatures, but none hunted dinosaurs for breakfast, that is for sure. But Sarcosuchus was not the only badass crocodile. Deinosuchus was a 35-foot crocodile in the late Cretaceous era that preyed on T-Rexes. Number 10. Brontornis burmeisteri from eagles to vultures to falcons, we know several coniferous birds, but none matches the raw power of Brontotornis burmeisteri. The Brontotonus was a South American terror bird that lived on the continent 23 to 25 million years ago. Despite being 9 feet tall and weighing 400 kilograms, the Brontotornus was quite fast. It did not, however, rely on its speed to catch prey, but instead ambushed them. It had a robust build and a very large beak. It used brute force and its heavy build when hunting, usually trying to take down prey as quickly as possible before they escaped. Number 9. An Eagle That Stole Children The largest eagle in the world, the Harpy Eagle, weighs 9 kilograms. In comparison, the Haste Eagle weighed 15 kilograms, almost twice the weight of its modern-day relative, called Puakawi. In Maori legends, it was known to eat little children. Harpagonus moray was native to South Island, New Zealand. Its main prey was the moa, a huge, flightless bird that could reach 230 kilograms in weight. Because it hunted such large birds, the Haast Eagle was just as huge. It went extinct in 1400 after the Maori people hunted its prey to extinction. Legends exist that tell of the eagle swooping down to snatch children for food. Number 8. Megalania If you add wings and fire breathing to Varanus priscus, you will get a real-life dragon and might go around being Daenerys Targaryen. Because of an updated nomenclature, Megalania priscus got Varanus 
as its genus name, making it an ancestor of modern reptiles like snakes and monitor lizards. Measuring up to 25 feet in length and weighing 2 tons, Varanus priscus is a close relative of the Komodo dragons, the largest lizards in the world. It was an apex predator of the Pleistocene age and was discovered in southern Australia. Early Australian settlers arrived 50,000 years ago, and their hunting of the reptile's prey led to its extinction. Number 7. Terror Birds Boris Hasidae earned themselves the nickname Terror Birds by their vicious predatory of other animals. Easily recognized by their hooked beaks, Terror Birds could be found in the Americas until 2 million years ago. The genus contained 25 species of flightless birds which were between 3 and 5 feet tall. They had such strong beaks that they could kill prey by cracking their skulls like melons. Number 6. Buzzsaw Killer a true visualization of a helicoprion is unknown, but scientists do know one thing, it has a lot of bone-splitting teeth. Like most cartilaginous fishes, the skeleton of Helicoprion might be lost to us, but fossilized teeth have been discovered. The fossils from the Permian-Triassic era show that it had teeth whirl, a wheel-like arrangement of teeth in its lower jaw. The shark-like fish did not shed its teeth, but grew them into teeth whorls that might have helped it deshell prey. Definitely not what you will want grazing on your skin. Number 5. Killer Sperm Whales Named After Leviathan Monster Leviathan Melvilli is named after the Leviathan, a biblical sea monster, and Herman Melville, who authored Moby Dick. In the novel, Captain Ahab and his crew meet their end because of a whale. It would be no surprise if Leviathan did the same. It is an absolute monster. Today's sperm whales rely on sucking in their prey with a rush of water. Leviathan, also a sperm whale, which lived 12 million years ago, had rows of razor-sharp teeth and was an apex predator. Discovered by Oliver Lambert, a Belgian scientist, it was between 13.5 and 18.5 centimeters in length. It hunted other whales, like killer whales, but had a head three times bigger than its modern counterparts. If it still existed, the seas would be much more dangerous for humans and whales. Number 4. Ratzilla. Rats are known to gnaw on foot and even nibble on flesh, but most times they are more irritable than deadly. Our opinion might be different if their early ancestors, Fabomeres patersoni, had not gone extinct. From fossils, we know they were about 15 feet from head to tail and weighed between 150 and 250 kilograms. These giant rodents were herbivorous, but with foot long incisors, I doubt an attack on humans would be just irritable. Number 3. Vultures that prey on cattle. Argentavis was the heaviest bird ever recorded, and despite its bulk, it could still fly. It has the second largest wingspan of any bird, and scientists estimate it was between 16 feet and slightly over 21 feet, much larger than even the wing of an Andean condor. These enormous birds preyed on cattle. Number 2. Sabertooth marsupials. When we think of marsupials, images of kangaroos and opossums come to mind. However, it was a different story 5 million years ago when the Thiocosmolus roamed South America. Discovered in the 1920s by paleontologist Elmer Riggs, these vicious predators are saber-toothed like saber-toothed cats but are related to present-day marsupials. You can bet that they did not go around hopping and scurrying. Number 1. Megalodon if Jaws had been about Megalodons, the entire beach would have been wiped out. With a name that translates as Big Tooth, the shark lived 23 to 3.6 million years ago and preyed on large sea creatures like whales and seals. Megalodons reached 66 feet in length and weighed as much as 103 metric tons. It had a biting force of 108,500 to 182,200 newtons. Few animals can boast of such biting power. An apex predator, megalodons attacked by biting through the chest and puncturing the heart and lungs. Its extinction is due to climate change and a changing ecosystem due to an encroaching ice age. We have come to the end of another top-notch video. Thanks for sticking with me. Are you a paleontology buff and know other prehistoric monsters that could have made the list? Please let me know in the comments section. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and do not forget to turn on the notification. I would hate for you to miss out on future updates. Thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next video.